Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? Why are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna beat you know the shit out of you. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Full Throttle Remastered for the PS4. Wow, a LucasArts Adventure game I never got to play when I was a kid. I mean, I used to love Monkey Island, and Monkey Island 2 especially, but this is one that passed me by completely. And it's got to be plus 20 years old now, so it's about time we played it, right? So here we go, we're going to jump in to a new game. Wow. Seeing the LucasArts logo today, it's a bit, uh... It's a bit, what's the word? Nostalgic. When That's right, yeah, because you don't fall, see it anymore. <laughs> Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know you're. Are they in a hover car? You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. Totally is. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen. Hobnobbing. Hobnobbing. With real Hobnobbing. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Inner ear condition? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's what's between oh, here come the bikers. I didn't realize this game was set in the future, man. It's, they've got a freaking hover car. And I'm pretty sure that's Mark Hamill as well playing um, Rip Burger, the guy who says he's got an inner year condition now and uh, hobnob and whatever. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. And I really don't know much about this game. I I I heard about it for a, a long, long time. Like I know it came out 20 odd years ago, and I pretty much heard about it for the last maybe 15 years. But, never played it, never really looked into it, and when I hear the Double Final Remaster in it, um, I couldn't resist, couldn't resist buying it straight away. I mean, it was like a no-brainer, like, I mean, I, I really love Monkey Island, and I will go out and say that Monkey Island is one of my favourite games of all time, and that's saying something, because I've played a lot of games, I've played a lot of games, but Monkey Island, and especially Monkey Island 2, are up there in the top three. And even Monkey Island 3, I know a lot of people didn't like Monkey Island 3 that much, but that game still holds a bit of a soft spot in my heart. I, I, I still love all the characters from that series too much to like hate on a Monkey Island game. Well, I say hate on a Monkey Island game a bit lightly there, I mean I don't particularly enjoy uh, Tales of Monkey Island. And, well, all the 3D Monkey Island games really, I mean like it just lost the charm when it turned from 2D to 3D. I really wish that uh, Disney would give the rights back to uh, Ron Gilbert so he could do uh, a new Monkey Island game, much like in the style of Thimbleweed Park that just got uh, just came out. That would be amazing if we could get like a new Monkey Island game like that. I would probably die happy. <laughs> We 
But here we go, anyway. We're jumping straight into the game. At the kickstand. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Something big, eh? Oh, the the evil hover car is uh, pulling up. Yeah, you better Don't stay suppose out here, things are gonna end well. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he laughing? Right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? Uh, that'll be us or, or me. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Oh, he's yeah. enjoying a drink with all the bikers. That's what I bet. Worked him over with a two by four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> yep. See, I was right. You're wrong, Ripper. I was right. Not back then, it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help. What kind of name is Rip Burger? Pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Well, we don't want it. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not. The polecats. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip. But doesn't it say full throttle on his jacket as well? Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Oh, we're gonna kick his ass. We're gonna kick his ass! And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for oh, dear. all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. Oh, no. I have a plan. I bet you do, Mister Ripburger. meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. Oh, I don't really want to know that. what you got planned. It, it sounds evil. You sound evil. If you want to buy muscle, you should. It's not just because Mark office. Hamill's voice in you. Man says it's the pole cats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word. That's it. Oh, he's gonna when he's gonna I'd beat like me up now, isn't he? Just one final. Offer. He's gonna somehow beat me up. Although oh, no, he's got one of his goons to do it for him. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat. Bolus. What kind of name is Bolus? You all got stupid names. You got Rip Burger and Bolus. What's the name of the other guy? To look like an accident. That stuff shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer. No, I didn't. All. You knocked me out with a bit of, of fact, wood, you bastard. He gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well, then, he did? let's roll him, boys. He did? Yeah! No, I didn't. Oh, there they go. There they go! Oh shit. I'm probably dead in an alley or something and the game's over. Oh god, controls. Oh god, I don't even want to look at this. Screw that. No thank you, sir. I'll take my chances. Um, okay, where am I? Am I in here? Ah, here we go. Oh god, that was quick. Uh, <laughs> just punched himself straight out of there. Um, okay, you can switch render modes. I, I remember when, like, they remastered, uh, Monkey Island 1 and 2 for, uh, consoles and PC whatever they put a render mode in it so you can look at it what it looked like uh, originally and wow wow how wow <laughs> they have done a lot of work they have done a lot of work they have done a lot of work I tip my hat to you double fine right let's go this way uh should we just get on my bike what is this uh, I assume I talk to, and that's probably pick up, and is that kick? Like, 
I, I thought this game would have been like using the more traditional kind of um, open pick up walk to kind of stuff down here. I didn't realize it was like this. Is this more like um, what Monkey Island 3 was like in terms of like how you do things? Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Um, when did Monkey Island 3 came out? Was Monkey Island 3 around the same time? I'm not sure. Was it before or after? I, I can swear Monkey Island 3 was like 97, but I might be completely wrong. And I think this was around about 95. Where's my keys then? Is it in, in the kickstand? Let's open the door. I assume the hand is like sort of use, like pick up, open, that open kind of up. thing. Maybe just like kick in the door. There we go. <laughs> That'll do it. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Okay. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Well, I just need, need to find my keys. I just need to find my keys, my friend. Um, maybe if we talk to him, maybe he knows where I can find it's my like keys. You're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Um, I'm looking for my keys. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh yeah. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna beat you know the shit out of you. Better on your nose. What? Oh God. Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. My character really I means business. Keys, he he doesn't take nothing. no for an answer. He doesn't take any shit, does he? Kicks in doors, Why? slams but guys' hands into the bar. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. An ambush? What else? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Oh. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Killing me and making it look like an accident. Is that what they... No, they, I, they didn't do that then, did they? I'm assuming that they're going to try and do that, maybe. I don't know. Okay, um... How do we... Ah, there we go. We got keys. Let's use the keys on the bike. And then let's go head out after those assholes, beat them up, and then we can go back to the kickstand, have a drink, uh, end of the game. There we go. I, I assume that's what's gonna happen. It won't take, like, you know, a million billion hours or anything like that. Because these games are, like, notoriously difficult, aren't they? I'm assuming this is gonna be really hard. He's indestructible. No one can, no one can stop him. God, he does mean business. But they try. Hey, who's this guy now? Look at the size of his wheel. Hey, you Call yourself a biker with that blooming wheel? Freaking show. loser. Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When a rock wheelers hit the road. Oh, he's a rock wheeler, eh? Oh, okay. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. He's a rival gang. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Yeah, you heard me. Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up. That does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. What? Holy shit! <laughs> God, I wasn't expecting this. This is like road rash. Oh, we can switch weapon. Oh, we can switch to our foot. Let's kick him off the bike. <laughs> oh my god. That is like totally like road rash. If you don't know what road rash is, you're probably not old enough. <laughs> so, so uh, look it up. Oh, my bike's broken now. <laughs> Maybe I can wheelie uh, my way there. Oh no, oh god, it didn't, didn't work. No, we're on fire. We're dead, the game's over everybody, we're dead. We couldn't wheelie our way all the way there. Yeah, these games are renowned for being quite difficult. I mean, I've been playing for Mowie Park lately. And I'm still playing it because I'm stuck. Because the puzzles are so hard. So I'm hoping this one isn't as hard, otherwise we might be playing it for like an eternity. An ambush up the road. He has a plan. He has a dream. He has a dream. 
Here's a plan, and then we're passing out. Who's this now? Why are they taking pictures of me? Man, this is gruesome. Well, why don't you help me? Oh, they're a reporter, are they? I have to get you some help by some yeah, please. Um, don't just stand there taking pictures, you bitch. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Oh, good. What the hell? Okay. Uh, someone in a gas mask? Are you? I'm a mechanic. Why are you wearing a gas mask? A pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's ben. Still doesn't explain why, why you were wearing a gas mask. Maureen. You were in an accident. A reporter no found shit. you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished. Oh, here we go. Uh... I gotta get out of this I town. Out of this town. Fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? Um. Someone tried to kill me. Someone tried to kill me. I'm after him. Why would somebody want to kill you? To get me out of the way so they could ambush the polecats. Well, you better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Yeah, you better have. Uh, how's it look? How's it look? I bet you we got like. Good. You must yeah, find me this yeah. part, and then this part, and then this part, and then you'll fix your bike. And someone stole my Yeah, here we go. Torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas. So you gas. A blowtorch, and I missed the first thing because I was rambling. Um, where am I supposed to find where all this stuff? To find all this stuff. You can hack it, tough guy. Um, uh, okay, new forks. Okay, where am I gonna find, new, gonna forks? find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken. New, new. Pieces. So old, new. You can start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. Todd, eh? He runs the junkyard. Okay, Todd runs the junkyard. Uh, what about How the am torch? I to find your torch. I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my. Someone torch. stole it. Okay. Who would do a thing like that? Who would do a thing like that? Okay, where's, where's the, the gas? gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. Okay. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Okay. Good. Okay. Looks like I know what to do. Uh. Well, I'll let you get back let's to work. Let her get back to work and we'll go ahead out and try and get all the three parts so we can get out of here. Yada, yada, yada. Right, what's this? Ah, here we go. Gas can. Ah, good start. Uh, there's something on the wall here too. Photograph. Uh, can we do this? I'm not putting my lips on it. Oh, he's that. not putting his lips on it, apparently. Um, okay. Who's this? Oh. Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me. Uncle Pete, I'll visit Uncle Mink. He called the Mink Ranch. Uncle Mink. <laughs> You're a mink farmer. <laughs> no, it's uh, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch, not Uncle Mink he died. Pete's but Ranch. <laughs> I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else in here we can, uh, pick up? This is like one of those things where you have to scour the screen for like ages just to see if you've got everything. I think we have got everything in here. So let's leave.